all you will need to create your own personalized makeup Z palette are magazines that you no longer want and wish to recycle, and an old DVD case if you have one, and a pair of scissors. Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video is a little bit different than what I normally do. So this is a DIY tutorial on how to make your very own personalized makeup Z palettes. So this was my DIY project for the weekend and I want to apologize in advance because I was up very late last night shooting a commercial so my brain is still a little out of sorts. So uh, yeah, so I made these Z palettes over the weekend. So I'll show you the first one. This is my favorite one. So this is the highlighting Z palette for my face. This is the back of it. And this is what the inside looks like. So I basically just took my highlights, highlighters I should say, and just glued them to the inside of a DVD case. So it's all you will need to make your own makeup Z palette are three things, but before I get into that, let me just finish showing you the other, the others that I made. So, I love the color purple, so I went with this purple high-heeled shoe and like bejeweled clutch for the cover of this Z palette, and then the back are just really pretty jewels, and the reason why I chose those photos for this Z palette is because they are there's a lot of like jewel toned eyeshadows in here. So, and these eyeshadows are LA Colors. They're $1 eyeshadows and they are some of the best that I've ever used. They cost a dollar. You can find these at the dollar store. So, that's the second Z palette. And then the third one is also one of my favorites. This is got Madonna on the front and I just cut out a little ad that was in a Rolling Stones magazine and then the back of it is a maple leaf for my dog because her name is Maple and there are little M&Ms all over the back creating the maple leaves and Maple obviously starts with M and so does Madonna so I kind of just like chose those two to go together for this one and in this are just very like warm shades and very I don't know, I feel like they go with the makeup look that Madonna has on in this photo. Just very natural. It's a very, you know, red lip, but her eyes for the most part are very natural. And the shades also remind me of my little chihuahua. So that is this Z palette. And then the last one that I made is my David Bowie letter to a fan that he wrote in 1967. And this I cut out of, I believe it was either a Rolling Stones magazine or an entertainment magazine. Um, but basically, it was a letter that he wrote to one of his fans, and I just love it. And then the back I chose, like, very Bowie colors, and there's a camera lens there. Uh, and then the inside, I still have yet to fill this one up with, with the shades, but the blue definitely reminds me of Bowie, and so does purple. So... That's basically it, and I just think that they look so much better than being plain like just a basic DVD case does. And I've been wanting to do away with my like little eyeshadow cases, like like my Wet Wet and Wild ones, because I think if you have a lot of those things, they just kind of like can be it's just a lot of clutter. So. I like things where I can all see them in one palette. That way it's easier for me to select shadows to wear. So I think in the Madonna one, these are all Wet n Wild um, shadows. So which leads me to my next train of thought, which is I found also over the weekend some new Wet n Wild stuff that is out for autumn and it's limited edition and I'm not going to show you yet because this is going to be in my next video. So I'll put a link to the Wet n Wild video in the comment section of this video as well so you can see how those shades look swatched. And there's also a colored mascara that I grabbed that is, I hope it's going to be amazing because it's my favorite color. So 
be sure to stay tuned for that video. So let's go ahead and get into what you need to make your very own personalized Z palette. So you need just a blank DVD case that you want to recycle. And this one is just a basic DVD, DVD case. There's nothing special about it. And you also want to make sure that it's the kind that has the ability to slip the magazine photo inside the plastic. So, and you want to make sure that that is on both sides. That is, if you want a photo on each side, because you need to be able to slip the magazine photo inside the sleeve. And then you just need magazines and a pair of scissors. And all you do is you find a photo. So, say you want to have like a pretty face because that is very makeup-esque. And you just cut the photo out and it doesn't even have to be just cut around the main part of the photo, but you want to make sure that where you're cutting is not going to be way too small because if it's way too small it's not going to take up the entire space inside the sleeve so you you definitely want to measure so it's probably easiest if you measure your DVD case and then just trace around the photo that you want to cut out but the way that I did it is I just cut out the photo because just by looking at this photo I can tell that if I cut here and I cut here that's going to be enough width for this and if it's too big then I can at least trim it but if it's too small you can't trim it so you want to make sure that it's at least as big or bigger. So then you just cut around the photo and then you, if it fits inside the sleeve, then slide it in the sleeve. And then as what I did is if it was too long on the top, then I would just trim it to make it fit. And that's really all there is to it. There's nothing, there's nothing too complicated about this. It's just a matter of making sure that your sizes are accurate when you are cutting it to fit inside the sleeve. So, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys because I think it's a really cool way to organize your makeup and in a way that is like your personality. And I haven't seen anyone do anything like this really, so I kind of just came up with it because I didn't want just black DVD cases sitting on my vanity. I wanted something that's more me. So that was really the logic behind creating these. and. I think that they'll look really cool like stacked up with my other palettes and because now to me they actually look like palettes they don't just look like a DVD case with makeup inside so yeah that is basically it for this video I knew it was gonna be a very short one because I just wanted to kind of go over that with you guys but if you have any questions about the Z palettes please be sure to leave this for me in the comment section and thank you so much for watching and if you have any suggestions for me for future videos that you would like me to do, please be sure to also leave those for me in the comment section below. And if you haven't yet, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I'll see you guys in my Wet n Wild first impressions and swatch video. Bye!